us, we say in YouTube. So I position here. I want to take the guy out preemptively, but I want to use like a wrist lock, as it were. So here, the guy's fighting me up here. What I'm going to do here, give the guy a slap this way here. Give the guy here a little bit of a push this way. So in reality here, step this way. Hand this way, bring up this way here, and take the guy down. And then I've got position here to do all sorts of stuff there. And then here, pull up, there, tap. Okay. The key to this one is about momentum. It's not about um, strength. It's about using momentum here. So as I slap the guy here, my right hand here comes across into the thumb this way. I pick up here, come across. Now the position here, as I bring it across here, you know, I've got to get some semicircular momentum into it. So I pull here and step back with my right hand. It's almost like some Aikido shit there. So here you can come in this way and start to work the guy there, bag, all of that kind of nasty stuff. Or if I want to keep things simple, I can go ahead here, give the guy a smash this way, okay? Keys to this one. So we've been doing this all day, so, so, so here, as you come in here, give the guy a reverse slap there. My hand needs to go across. So see here, my hand here. Normally, even here, I can do here, push this way, take the guy, I can do that one, and all of that. But for today, just for the um, hand position here, as I come in here, I wanna whip this way, hit across there. My hand, my right hand comes across into the thumb this way. As I'd come back and spring back, I come here like a PlayStation grip. So I can do that. I bring it in. So this is all one movement, but to break it for you guys here, as I bring it here, I step back with the right leg. So I get my whole body into it here. See here, there, I step back there. Then I've got position. If I just want to finish the guy up here, bang. And obviously you don't give the guy any facial damage either, which is always useful in the eyes of the law. So here from this position, right hand underneath my elbow. As I spring back there, give the guy a little bit of a whack this way. So in reality, if you whack there, I move into the guy here. If his hands are bunched up and someone just asked me, this one particularly works. So here, you just switch underneath here, bring the guy here, and you've got kicks there. And you've got the and you've got the shoulder lock, okay. But if the guy's hands are open here, you can hit, come across this way, there, bring back, and this is all about momentum. As I bring back here, come back and semi-circular. So here, back here, step back this way, okay. One, another application of this as well. Here, the guy starts to push you. There's a little dickhead he pushes here. You can come in this way here. So here you've got a couple of options. If the guy pushes you and you shit there and he still comes after you again here, you can grab this way here. As you do that one here, whack the guy, come back this way, step back with the left leg this time here, and then put the guy down, and I've got position here, and then I can make the guy tap. Also, if I want to be a bit of a cunt, I can go ahead and give him a couple of whacks on the back of the head. But it's, again, it's the same thing. If you can catch the guy, normally, here, as he comes in here, you can whack or go again, make him bang, capture the guy there. I've got good position this way, I've captured. Now here, right hand here, smacks this way. As I stretch him out here, again, come back this way, and here, I push down, and then step back with the left leg here, and I get position there. From here, I can start to finish the guy there, and then start to do all sorts of nasty stuff, okay? So that's an application of the wrist lock. Um, and the other thing you can do here, as he steps in here, he, he comes in really aggressively here, bang, slap, and then from here, bang, and then there. And then from here, step through, and go for a bit of a choke this way as well. Sorry, you can do that one as well. For that one here, more aggressive. We'll cover that in another video. But here, any kind of wrist lock this way, you can go here, this way, or that way, it doesn't really matter. But both times, you want to get these four fingers in the back of his hand like a place, I call it a PlayStation grip, this way. So here, position this way. If I have him that way, I step back in the left leg here, pressure there, and then I've got all sorts of positions there. If I go the other way, sorry, Simon, I can go this way here. Again, it's, if I wrestle with it here, I'm, he's just not gonna go. I need to pull here and step back. That makes all the difference there. There's no strength involved in it. It's all about technique and momentum, okay? And here as well, I've got a couple of options here to really go to town on the guy. But if you can, if you practice it enough, you can make it work. But it's all about technique and momentum. Oops.